This morning in Your Money, we are making a list and checking it twice with an end of the year financial checklist. Here with his advice is Jeffrey Massey of Massey and Associates. Welcome back. Hi, Michaela. Always Thanks a pleasure. for being here. Well, you know what? A lot of people tying up loose ends around this time of year, making sure everything's in order. They're going to go into the new year confident um, about where they stand. And their finances is obviously one that, that we want to keep in mind. You've been on with us before mentioning Roth IRAs. Should we do a Roth conversion? And if so, are there consequences or things that we should be aware of? Yeah, it's a great question. And of course, you always want to work with an advisor mm -hmm. or a CPA to, to really determine if it's appropriate for you to do that. Because when you convert from a traditional IRA into a Roth IRA, you have to claim that as taxable income. Okay. So you'll pay today's tax on that conversion. But in my opinion, taxes will be absolutely getting higher in the future. Mm -hmm. So I, I encourage people to consider it. But again, meet with an advisor, whether it's a certified financial planner professional right. or a CPA, to make sure that you're doing it the right way. That's true, because I'm sure this it varies. It's like a case-by-case -case basis. Absolutely. What works for one may not work for another. It's not always appropriate for everybody. Exactly mm -hmm. right. You also mentioned something, a required minimum distribution. Do you, do we, should we be taking this? How important is it? What should we be aware of? Well, that's a big one, but it is for folks that are 70 and over. In okay. fact, the year you turn 70 and a half, mm -hmm. you're required to take out at least a minimum distribution. If really? you don't take it, it's a 50% penalty, 50% penalty. Now, if you take it out early, before 59 and a half, it's only 10% penalty. So okay. the government, their wisdom is saying, it's five times as bad to keep it in than it is to take it out early. Yeah. But it's so important to get that done correctly. So again, work with your advisor to make sure you take those out. Mm -hmm. How about if we're planning on making don charitable donations? Because I know this is the time of year that a lot of people do so, but if we're kind of factoring that in, what do we need to know? Right, and the tough part with that, with the new tax plan change, mm -hmm. that people may not be able to itemize their deductions because they might not have enough. Okay. So one cool way to do it, again, this is for folks that are retired, when they hit that point of required minimum distributions, mm -hmm. they can do a direct transfer from their IRA directly to a nonprofit. So then it never hits their tax form. So they don't have to claim it as taxable income. Okay. So that can be very productive. Yeah. On the flip side, they can't deduct it, but many people won't be able to itemize. In fact, they say less than 10% of us will be itemizing deductions under the new tax plan. Wow. And because of all of these new changes, like you said, all the more reason to see someone like you, because it's hard to keep up with it. It really is. No, it I, is. You're here to help us out, but right. there's a lot to consider. And then even based on your financial situation or if you're married or if you have children things like that things that you need to keep Absolutely. in mind and your level of tax etc mm -hmm. and we have an end of year checklist that we'll put onto our website so Perfect. our viewers can go there and see all the different important topics that they need to handle mm -hmm. get those questions ready for when we see someone like you absolutely Jeffrey thank you so much for coming <laughs> Always in a pleasure. you gotta get your stuff together for the end of the year it's all great advice to keep in mind as 2018 wraps up oh gosh it'll be at the end in just a couple of weeks if you want more information you can go to roadshow.com